Now to the Middle East tonight, to Tahrir Square, the birthplace of the Arab Spring in Egypt almost two years ago. And once again, Egyptians are protesting, this time trying to hold on to their democracy during a turbulent November. And ABC's Alex Marquardt was on the scene in Cairo today. The birthplace of Egypt's revolution, today once again ringing with calls for the downfall of a dictator. This time, it's for this man, President Mohamed Morsi, whom America relies on to be a regional peace broker. But last week, he granted himself unchecked power, leading to days of bloody clashes. The crowd is chanting, Adhal, or leave. These are many of the same chants we heard two years ago during the revolution, except that they've substituted Mubarak for Morsi. Egyptians toppled President Hosni Mubarak, the dictator who ruled for three decades. They then held a historic election, voted in the new president, and now... He's like a pharaoh, you know, like he's a superpower. Morsi's office says the move is just temporary, to sideline remnants of the Mubarak era and put Egypt on the right track. Tonight, the wise voices say it's far from clear who will win this showdown. But there are certainly more bloody days ahead on Egypt's bumpy road to democracy. Alex Marquardt, ABC News, Cairo.